Welcome to this tutorial on simulating a continuous start tank reactor in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn to simulating a continuous start tank reactor, calculate conversion and residence time for a reaction in a CSTR. To record this tutorial, I am using DWSIM 4.3 and Windows 7. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS also, such as Linux, Mac OS X, or Fossi OS on ARM. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to add components to a flow sheet, select thermodynamic packages, add material and energy stream, and specify their properties, and add kinetic reaction in Reaction Manager. The prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website. You can access these tutorials and all the associated files from this site. We will develop a flow sheet to determine the exit composition from an isothermal CSTR. Here, we give reaction, property package, and inlet stream conditions. Next, we give CSTR dimensions and reaction kinetics. I have already opened DWSIM on my machine. Go to File menu and select New Steady State Simulation. Simulation Configuration Wizard window appears. At the bottom, click on Next. Now, in the Compounds Search tab, type Ethanol. Select Ethanol from Kimsep database. Similarly, add Acetic Acid. Next, add water. Next, add ethyl acetate. Click on Next. Now comes Property Packages. From available property packages, double click on NRTL. Then click on Next. We are moved to Flash Algorithm. From default Flash Algorithm, Select Nested Loops VLE. Click on Next. The next option is System of Units. Under System of Units, we will select C5. Then click on Finish. Let us now maximize the simulation window. Let's insert a feed stream that enters the CSTR. Go to Object Palette. From Streams section, drag and drop a material stream to the flow sheet. Let's change the name of this stream to Feed. Now, we will specify the Feed Stream properties. Go to Input Data. Select Flash Specs as Temperature and Pressure if not already selected. By default, Temperature and Pressure are already selected as Flash Specs. Change temperature to 70 degrees centigrade and press enter. Change pressure to 1 bar and press enter. Change mass flow to 3600 kg per hour and press enter. Now let us specify the feed stream compositions. Under composition, choose the basis as mole fractions if not already selected. By default, mole fraction is already selected as basis. Now, for ethanol, enter the amount as 0.48 and press enter. For acetic acid, enter 0.5 and press enter. Similarly, for water, enter 0.02 and press enter. For ethyl acetate, enter 0 and press enter. On the right, click on this green tick to accept changes. Next, we will define the kinetic reaction. Under Tools, click on Reactions Manager. Chemical Reactions Manager window opens. Under Chemical Reactions tab, click on the green colored Add Reaction button. Then, click on Kinetic. Add new kinetic reaction window opens. Under identification, 
enter the name as ethyl acetate. Now enter the description. Irreversible reaction for synthesis of ethyl acetate from ethanol and acetic acid. Next part is a table of components, stoichiometry, and reaction orders. First column, name shows the available compounds here. Second column corresponds to its molar weight. Next column is include. Under include, check all the check boxes. The fourth column is BC. Under BC, check the ethanol check box as ethanol is the base component. Next column is stoichiometric coefficients. Under stoichiometric coefficients column, enter minus 1 for ethanol, minus 1 for acetic acid, 1 for water, and 1 for ethyl acetate, and then press enter. In the stoichiometry field, we can see it is showing OK. Here, the equation field shows the reaction equation. Next column is DO. We are considering the reaction to be elementary. So, under DO column, enter 1 for ethanol, 1 for acetic acid, and then press enter. Next column is RO. Since we are considering an irreversible reaction, we will not enter anything here. Then comes kinetic reaction parameters. Our rate is in terms of molar concentration. So, we will select bases as molar concentrations. Select phase as liquid if not already selected. Enter T-min as 300. Enter T-max as 2000. Now, go to direct and reverse reactions velocity constant. In direct reaction, enter A as 0.005. Click on OK. And close chemical reactions manager window. Now, let us insert a continuous start tank reactor to the flow sheet. Go to object palette. Under unit operations, Click on the continuous start tank reactor. Drag and drop it to the flow sheet. Let us now arrange it as required. And then let us insert one output stream. To do that, let us drag one material stream. Let us once again arrange it. Leave that stream as unspecified. We will change the name of this stream to product. Next, we will insert one energy stream and name this stream as energy. We are now ready to specify the continuous start tank reactor. Let's click on it. On the left, we can see a tab displaying properties related to the CSTR. Under connections, click on the drop down against inlet stream and select feed. Next, Click on the drop down against outlet stream 1 and select product. Then click on the drop down against energy stream and select energy. Now go to the next section calculation parameters. Here the first option is reaction set. By default it is default set. Next click on the drop down against calculation mode and select isothermic. Then click on the field against reactor volume and enter 0.14. Then press enter. Now we will run the simulation. So from the toolbar click on solve flow sheet button. When the calculations are completed click on the continuous start tank reactor in the flow sheet. From the property editor window of CSTR, locate result section. Under the general tab, click residence time. It is 0.033R. Now, go to conversions tab. Here, for ethanol, the conversion is 99.5% and for acetic acid, it is 95.5%. 
Now, go to Insert menu and select Master Property table. Double click on the Master Property table. Configure Master Property table window opens. Enter name as Results Continuous Start Tank Reactor. Enter object type as Material Stream. By default, Material Stream is already selected. So, we will not change it. Under Properties to Display, select object as Product and Feed. Under Property, scroll down to see all the parameters. Now select the property as Temperature, Pressure, Mass Flow, Molar Flow, Liquid Phase Mixture, Volumetric Fraction, Molar Flow Mixture, Ethanol, Mass Flow Mixture, Ethanol, Molar Flow Mixture, Acetic Acid, Mass Flow Mixture, Acetic Acid, Molar Flow Mixture, Water, Mass Flow Mixture, Water, Molar Flow Mixture, Ethyl Acetate, Mass Flow Mixture, Ethyl Acetate. Close this window. Move the Master Property table for better visibility. Here we can see the corresponding results for product and feed. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to simulate a continuous stirred tank reactor, calculate conversion and residence time for a reaction in a CSTR. As an assignment, repeat the simulation with different compounds and thermodynamics, different feed conditions, different CSTR dimensions, and reaction kinetics. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. The Spoken Tutorial project team conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The FOSI team coordinates conversion of existing flow sheet in DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. The FOSI team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to DWSIM. We give honorarium and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSI projects are funded by NMACT, MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Kaushik Dutta and Priyam Nayak. Thanks for joining.